All right, I'm here at Agora Auto Sounds with Jaime Palafox, and he's doing an installation on this Cadillac 05 2005 DeVille. And he's going to change out the entire system, which it already has right now, that was done several years ago, for the following. Jaime, can you tell us a little bit about what you've ordered, what you like, tell me about who Wait, the where's hell? This going? Who's seeing this? Who's seeing this? Yeah. Everybody. This is going to YouTube. This is going to your channel. This is going online. Oh, okay. So we want to know who is Audio Frog and why would you even consider a new line like this? And tell me about what JL's doing lately and these components. We're revamping the front stage on this car. And right now it has an old set of six and a half and tweeter focal speakers, which were good at, for its time. Um, so now we're going with something a little bit different. We're gonna do a three-way active set. Those were run passive, meaning that they use the crossover that comes with the speakers. These we're gonna run through a processor, which is built into the amplifier, which is a JL piece. Um, we're using an eight channel, uh, built-in DSP, 100 watts by eight uh, amplifier. And that we can tune uh, our front speakers. Every speaker will be crossed over. It'll be time alignment will be adjusted on there. Uh, so we'll make the driver's seat the center of the sound stage. Um, and then we're using uh, Audio Frog, and I like Audio Frog. I think it's a different company. Um, Andy Weymeyer owns the company, and here I'll show you the mids. These are the mid mid drivers, and they're just made really well. Um, I know Andy has, he's just more of an engineer guy, but you can see this really nice speaker, nice size magnet. Everything about it's rubber surround. Um, so you can see even his uh, cone has got a little bit of a coating on the back side of there, probably smoothing out the sound of the plastic or the polypropylene. Uh, so it's a very good speaker. It looks, uh, it handles a lot of power. I know we just did one of these and um, it could have used more power. That's what I thought, my opinion. Uh, so it's a speaker that's very power hungry, but can handle the power. And sometimes we need that, especially if it's a mid bass driver. And the second speaker we're gonna change out or we're gonna add to the equation is we're gonna do this two and a half inch, also an audio frog. We're going with their own, it's a G GB25. We're going with the full audio frog front setup. And this I have not heard, this is my first time, but this is, I've never seen a speaker like this. So I just thought it was really incredible that we try something so small. And I I'm mainly doing it because of the, uh, the size, the fitment of it. And if it matches any of the other speakers that I've already heard, then I think we're gonna do really well. But this is a small enough speaker to where we can put it either in the sail panel or the A pillar, and it'll still look like it belongs to the car. It's part of the car. It doesn't stand out so far. Uh, the tweeter, which is giant, this is a GB15, one and a half inch tweeter. And this is very beefy speaker, uh, tweeter. Um, it's got a lot of nice hardware for mounting. You can see it's, you know, it's a cast uh, uh, trim here that has a, um, threading on the back for the nut on the back side of it. Um, I don't know what it's made out of, <laughs> but it sounds amazing. It uh, plays pretty low. I do, the last car I did, uh, we tuned it to down to uh, 2200 Hertz. Um, I think it'd go a little bit lower than that, but it plays amazing range. And that's really special about a one and a half inch tweeter. It does, it, it, it does take a little bit of effort to get it to fit in the car, but I think the outcome is worth it. So uh, this is our front stage we'll be uh, installing in this car. And then we're also gonna do, uh, a knob, right? We need a new base knob, which we'll be able to do a couple of different settings uh, with, this, with the DSP. So we'll set like a driver's uh, position and then we'll do the, the whole car. Uh, this is the knob, you press the knob and it changes the different presets. The center becomes your main volume and the outside you can do as your base knob. Uh, so we like to put this close to the driver so they can have access to it. Even if they have steering controls, a lot of guys like using the knob better. So that works really, really well. And then this is another piece that JL's made that plugs in uh, to these VX series uh, uh, amplifiers as well as the-, uh, the Bitcoin? <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Maybe that's what you see because you've been seeing a lot of Bitcoin, uh, cashing Bitcoin checks or something. So anyway, so this is uh, the ability to communicate and do some, uh, some adjustments uh, to the processor built into the amplifier. And uh, it's done off of a tablet or a smartphone. So, and you have both of those, so you'll be good. You'll be able to do a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, some stuff I will not let you play with, like crossover points and stuff like that, but I'll tell you what you can't play with, but equalizer and all that stuff, we definitely play with that stuff. So where's the, to drive all these speakers and these subwoofers that are already in the vehicle, I'm not changing that out. Where's the tarantula amplifier or the PPI amps? 
What? Where's the, the big amplifier or the PPI amps? We don't have big amplifiers. That doesn't exist anymore. Um, there's very few companies. These are all class D amplifiers. Where's so, the amp? <laughs> it's right here. No, seriously. That's, that's a amplifier. laptop. <laughs> no, that's the amplifier. This is... Yeah, this is the amplifier. This there is what? That's the amplifier. And all right, you've got to tell us what's going on with these little tiny... My hand is almost bigger than the amp. Well, you have a pretty big hand, though. But still. If you look at my hand. <laughs> I mean, this is, come on, this is gonna power. Yeah, what is this gonna power again, and what does it have? Break it down for JL Audio fans, people out there that don't this have- This is simple. It's an eight channel amplifier. It's 800 watts, so it's 100 by eight. So this is gonna power eight speakers. Two tweeters on the dash, two mid-range on the cell panels, uh, two mid-bass drivers in the doors, and then the rear doors will be powered off of that. So eight speakers total. We'll run, and it'll do 100 watts per speaker. Very simple. In that little thing? In this little casing, and it has a processor built in. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, you mean to tell me that that little amplifier has eight channels of 100 watts per channel plus a DSP, a digital signal processors inside that at the same time. To me, that's a hybrid amp. No, I know A, B, and D amps are hybrids, but to me, this amp is like a hybrid of some of the best technology that could possibly accommodate one another. A DSP digital sound processor is what I call it, but it's really a digital signal processor. This is this is the new way to do things for your automotive experience for music and sound. Damn, okay, so why do I want a DSP? All right, in your car, your speakers are at different distances from your head, right? Real time alignment, that's one element. So you control each individual speaker. Here's what's up in your vehicle, in my vehicle, right? I have tweeters, I have mids, I have speakers in the back, I have subs. There are different distances, right? The tweeter's like three feet away, six feet away, what have you. You get a measuring tape, you break out with that, and you measure it from your ear to the speakers, and you plug in all that information to the computer of every individual speaker. Boom, bada, bing, it actually realigns and it delays the speakers so they all reach your ear at the same time. The sound difference sometimes is astonishing. In my experience, that's some amazing improvement in sound. If you A and B it, if you listen to it before and after. Furthermore, you can control each individual speaker, right? Like the tweeters, right? Tweeters particularly play a different range from bass, obviously. So Mariah Carey singing at the top of her lungs, you're going to get through the tweeters and through the mids. You're not going to get through, through the subwoofer through the, or through the woofer itself. You shouldn't. So you're able to control what speaker plays what frequency as they are designed. Essentially, you don't want your bass playing through your tweeters. That's how you blow your tweeters out quickly. So one of the other cool things about it is that you have on your laptop a 10 band control equalizer. This thing's huge. Controlled per speaker. Damn. Different speakers have different deficiencies in how they play or they just lack a certain element of tone or frequency and you can correct for that. You can improve for that. In some cases you can make things perfect. Well, you know, whatever you'd consider perfect. But let me just give you an example. For me, I like to have my speakers and my audio coming from the front stage, and I can control per increment and decibel my back speakers from my, my door speakers, from my tweeters, and so on and so forth. This is just some of the power and the elements that a DSP does for you. I'm taking too much time on this. Let's get back to the video. But believe you me, the fact that JL Audio, and, and many brands are doing this, not just JL. Audio brands are putting amplifiers with DSPs all into one unit. That's a killer instrument right there in itself. That unit right there is mind-blowing. And I think there's not enough information out there on this, and not enough people know about it. That's just my opinion. Let's get back to the video. It's got proprietary plugs, no RCAs. Uh, we're not, in your situation, we're not going to run it uh, uh, optic in, but these do have the ability to get a simple toss link cable that you can do fiber optic right into this thing. Uh, all the optical connections can, are, are connectable within amplifiers. So if you ever want to add more amplifiers, we can actually jump it through the optical. So it's a great feature. A lot of, a lot of processors have the optical, some head units do. Uh, but not very many amplifiers. So this is one of the few, but it's a good amplifier. It's a new piece for JL. It's only a year old or something like that. Started shipping last year. Uh, they got really nice connectors on the on the power. All of them are able to hold a four gauge wire. 
So we do four gauge on all these amplifiers. All of them use a big power wire. Uh, that's it. What else, right? What's over here? That's somebody else's stuff. Oh. These are six W threes. What are these? Yeah. What's the six W three? Maybe maybe <laughs> so this vehicle is, needs one of these. No, this is a cool uh, cool little driver that I use, um, and I actually build. I do these on golf carts, uh, Harley Davidsons. Uh, I've even done them in a couple of uh, Silverados, um, standard cab Silverados, and I kind of like that wow factor. So this is a six inch. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, wow. Yeah, that was a wow. Six inch uh, subwoofer. Wow, this is a six W3, okay, V3, meaning it's the third version that JL has made. It's a four ohm driver. So you can put two of these together. Um, I'm gonna run these two driver, two of these drivers uh, off of one amplifier. So it's gonna do, uh, oh, as well as, I'm actually gonna run the whole system uh, with just one amp. That'll be a five channel amplifier, and then we'll just run these two subs. So we're just gonna, we're only gonna put like 300 watts on these things. We'll do a ported enclosure and these things bang. Have you heard these? No. Oh. So I think you like them. Eight channel, eight hundred watts. Yes. Five channel, seven hundred watts. Correct. Ah. Uh, so that thing is probably the size of an iPad. It's it's very similar in size. Just that this has. That's a amazing. This has a processor built in that does not. But that does have an active crossover, which I do I do use pretty often. That's kind of my little trick. All right. 